up, Greg Gang? Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a part four follow-up video to my part one, two, and three of Clash Royale card maker series. You guys have been enjoying these. I have not done one in a long time though, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. And for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel, you might remember me doing these, but here we go guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and before I get started, make sure you click the little info button, it should be like up there, and those are basically just part one, part two, and part three. Be sure to watch those first, I would highly suggest that. And if you already have, then you're in the right place, so make sure you guys watch this video after you watch the other ones, because the other ones are pretty lit too, the other card ideas. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, I'm back, so we're just gonna um, play some replays, I'm gonna go over the cards, you guys can see first up we got the Cursed Archer, so let's hop into this replay here in TV Royale, we got Nova Batman against Fertina, so I'm just gonna go over the card real quick, so just a normal everyday archer, but cursed, she shoots poison arrows that continuously deal damage, when she is killed, she drops a mini poison spell, spooky, so let's go over her, um, her kind of basics, so she is three elixir guys, um, she's a legendary card, so, I mean, pretty hard to get. I'm not really sure what, which arena. I was thinking something maybe around, like, Hog Mountain, something around there. I'm not exactly sure. So let's go over her stats, guys. So she's got 254 hit points, 71 DPS. So remember, these are all archer stats, because she is basically an archer with a twist. So 86 damage. Her hit speed is 1.2 seconds. She targets air and ground. Speed is medium, range is 5, deploy time is 1 second, so really nothing new yet. Now here's where it gets a little interesting, guys. So poison duration, 5 seconds. So, you know, like when she uh, shoots someone with her arrows, they do get poisoned for 5 seconds. And also that mini poison spell she drops, that lasts for 5 seconds as well. So mini poison radius 2.5, so that's about the same as a zap, I believe. Yeah, I believe the same as a zap. So you can just think when she dies, she drops about a little zap, but it's like a poison that lasts for five seconds. And the poison DPS, which is 75 um, damage per second. That's five seconds, so it's it's a decent amount of damage. All right, so moving on to the next card. That was the Cursed Archer. Next up, we got the level four Cannon Cart 2.0. So this is called the Cannon Cart 2.0, guys. This is legit. All right, so this is an epic, and it's a troop, of course. Six elixir, guys. This card, I actually really like the way it looks. It just looks so cool. So let's go over the stats. Or actually, first let's read the description. So the Cannon Cart 2.0, it's it is bigger, better, and stronger. It contains a massive barrel that packs a huge punch, possibly a sparky competitor. So pretty awesome concept, guys. I really like the idea of this Cannon Cart 2.0. So hit points 1456, pretty good amount. Definitely more than the Cannon Cart. Damage per second, 216. That's about the same as a Prince. And damage is 325. Again, same as the Prince. And of course, it has to have the shield. As you guys know, the Cannon Card has that special, you know, it's a building and it's not a building kind of thing. So 820 for the shield hit points. Uh, the hit speed is 1.5 seconds. Targets ground, of course. It is a little risky to play, as you guys know, because if you can't target air and a six elixir is pretty big commitment. So definitely got to be careful with this card. The speed is slow, obviously, it's a very big, hefty card. Range is 5, the same as an archer. And the deploy time is 1 second. It's a pretty cool card right there, definitely enjoy that one. Uh, looks like we're waiting for the replay to wrap up here, and it looks like Nova Batman's going to take the W. And we're just going to jump into another TV, ro TV Royale here. So let me just wait for this match to end real quick. Alright, so moving on to the next one here, guys. We got... My favorite on the list, probably. It's an epic, and it's called the Barbarian Leader, guys. For Elixir, the, the picture looks awesome. I personally love the way the picture looks. So, all hail the Barbarian Leader. He gives all friendly Barbarians, including elite Barbarians, a 50% stat increase. In parentheses, speed, attack, speed, and health. Wait, attack, speed. Okay, I thought I was messing up there. No, attack, speed, not just not attack, speed again. Okay, so it's speed, attack, speed, and health. All right, so hit points, 1258, guys. Decent amount of hit points. Remember, it's like a regular Barbarian, but it's got more, it's like beefed up a little bit, but it's also got some special powers. So damage per second, 169. Damage, 254. You could probably compare this to around an Elite Barbarian. And yeah, that's funny, we were just watching Elite Barbarians on that replay. All right, hit speed, 1.5 seconds. 
Uh, targets ground and the speed is medium. Range is melee. Deploy time one second. Now here's where it gets a little interesting, guys. The rage effect is 50%. Now this is pretty cool because you know it, it rages all the friendly barbarians, which includes barbarians, barbarian huts. You know the barbarians from the barbarian huts, not the barbarian huts themselves, and of course elite barbarians. And no, he does not rage himself. So that's gonna be that guy, Barbarian Leader. Hope you guys enjoyed that little card right there. So moving on to the next one here, another really awesome concept. We got the Twin Inferno Tower, which I also like to call the Twin Inferno Tower, uh, pun intended. So it is a rare seven elixir, guys, and you guys can see a little bit of photoshopping there with two Inferno Towers. So two Inferno Towers at one tower, well, sounds like a good defense. Targets two at a time. So if you guys play Clash of Clans, you know they have the triple target Inferno. And you know, it could be, you can do single target or triple target. And this is basically a double target Inferno. It's two Infernos, but it does the same amount of damage as one, but it's just two now. So pretty good, I'd say. Uh, definitely a risky commitment, because that is seven Elixir. So let's go over the stats. So it's got 800 hit points. Damage per second, 50 to 1,000. It looks a little weird, as you guys know, the inf anything with Inferno in the name has a little bit weird of a damage stat. So, and then the damage is 20 to 400. Hit speed is 0.4 seconds. Targets air and ground. Range is six. Lifetime, 40 seconds. Deploy time is one second. So as you guys know, this is not two Inferno Towers. This is one, inf er, one Inferno Tower with two like built into it. Just clarifying that real quick. So let's jump into the next card here. Probably my second favorite here, guys, the level spell. Such a cool concept, very expensive. So six elixir legendary, guys. This spell is a game changer. I don't, I'm not just saying that, it literally is. It temporarily maxes out all of your cards and played, sorry, all of your cards played and all of your opponent's cards played and become level one. Lasts for only 10 seconds, use it wisely. So that description was a little confusing. Let me uh, kind of clarify it for you. Um, so basically all of your cards that are on the map get cert like maxed out like I don't know what is it like 13 level commons I don't remember basically your cards are all maxed out no matter what level they are and your opponent's cards are all level ones like legendaries epics rares commons everything right so this card is a huge game changer and let's go over the stats real quick so entire map is the radius guys insane so basically every card no matter no matter where it is on the map it can be it can be anywhere Duration 10 secs, so basically um, 10 seconds, obviously, and it lasts for 10 seconds, so basically you get maxed out cards for 10 seconds, and they get level 1 cards for 10 seconds. Uh, targets all cards played, so it doesn't matter what it is, guys. It could be a bomb tower, it could be an infernal dragon, it could be goblins, it could be a giant. I'm just looking at the cards right now that are on the replay. But yeah, so anything, anything it'll do, except for obviously king towers, because those aren't technically cards, or just towers in general. <laughs> So, moving on to the next card here, we got the Earthquake, guys. Super awesome. This is going to be the last one of the video, so I hope you guys really enjoy this one. So, this is a common 3 Elixir, level 9, so it shakes everything within its radius. Slowing movement and attack speed while dealing damage over time does extra damage to buildings. So, this is kind of like the Earthquake from Clash of Clans, but it's a little different. So, let's go over the duration. Five seconds. I actually put a space between five and seconds. That was kind of an accident there. So it lasts for five seconds, obviously. Damage per second, 34, so not a bad amount. Damage, uh, building damage per second is 42. So uh, another, no, not a bad amount. I mean, this is three elixir. That's not bad at all. And uh, the slow effect is 50%. So as you guys saw in the description, it said, um, shakes everything uh, within its radius, slowing movement and attack speed while dealing extra damage. So it's slowing the movement speed, so it's kind of like a little bit of an ice golem kind of thing, or it slows the, you know, slows the movement speed. So definitely an interesting spell. I like it a lot. Hope I hope these cards come to the game. I hope one of them at least. That's all I'm hoping for. A lot of cards similar to this kind of idea, the Earthquake, um, there are rumors about it on Reddit, but I don't think it's real. I think this is just fake. Like I said, this is just Supercell ideas. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and comment down below who won the replay, and I will tell you guys who is right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. Especially like the video if you guys enjoy this series. So I know to make more of these videos. I think this is, I want to say, part four of this series. I'm really enjoying making these. Um, they're definitely a lot of work to make. So, you know, I really hope you guys enjoy a lot because this is definitely a lot of work. I think this video took me like three hours to make all these cards to edit and stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.